अब बंपर वैकेंसीज फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्टूडेंट सी एस महा ट्रांस को दैट इज द महाराष्ट्र स्टेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ट्रांसमिशन कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड हैज अनाउंस रफली फोर हंड्रेड वैकेंसीज बट मेजर इंपॉर्टेंट हाईलाइट ऑफ दिस दैट डोमिसाइल ऑफ महाराष्ट्र विल बी रिक्वायर्ड बट सिंस इट इज अ बंपर वैकेंसी फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड फ्यू ऑफ द वैकेंसीज फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सो आई थॉट टू कवर इट एंड इनफॉर्म टू यू बिकॉज सेवरल एस्पेरेंट्स ऑफ गेट एंड इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज डू बिलोंग टू द स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र सो इट कैन बी बिग बेनिफिट ऑफ दम एंड नंबर टू इंपॉर्टेंट हाईलाइट इज विदाउट the gate examination so you are given another chance to prove yourself in the written examination so what is the rate nature of written examination and all those things let's discuss here in this particular session okay so but once again let me repeat it is you know for the uh, the domicile of maharashtra state will be required okay so all india is actually not eligible to apply for it okay so let's have a look into the important details about the examination that's it okay the number one vacancy is assistant engineer okay for transmission and there are total 390 vacancies and four for orphans okay and the eligibility for this will be electrical i'll show you that also and then there is the assistant engineer for telecommunication okay and six vacancies are there so it's majorly for electrical uh, that's what you can say okay but bumper it's a really good opportunity uh, for the uh, people of state of maharashtra okay so you'll be in the pay scale of 49 210 to uh, 2165 something 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 that is okay okay so yeah but approximately what what is the amount you are getting okay the approximate monthly gross emolument should be 84407 without the office accommodation that will be all separately okay so it's a, it's a decent thing uh, you know working under ae with the maha transco maharashtra state electricity transmission corporation limited so that's what i was mentioning have a look into this assistant engineer you should be holding a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering or technology so be btech degrees are eligible okay and for telecommunication the be btech in electronics and telecommunication okay uh, is definitely uh, desirable okay so that is what here but majorly the post as i told you uh, is for the uh, electrical engineering okay now important highlights 24th of october the uh, the application process is open till 24th of october so you have another 20 days today is i think 4th of october right so you have another 20 days to uh, you know fill up this form but if you are sure you can fill it up uh, as soon as possible also at the same time uh, there is a good relaxation of age here okay for the open category it is 38 years of upper age limit okay and there are definitely relaxations uh, as per the different categories so okay because usually otherwise other than this the usually the students when we apply for psu the age limit for general category is mostly 27 28 around okay so as i already mentioned uh, there should be the domicile of maharashtra state okay now some more important points let me cover up uh, for all of you the important things that you must know so that you can understand what is the nature of exam whether you should be applying it or not okay so here it is the methodology of selection as i told you will be comprising only and only of written test yeah one more major benefit you don't don't have to face any gd or pi rounds here only written test based on the merit list will be produced on the basis of written test only okay now okay now uh, if you just registered you will be called for online test without verifying the eligibility eligibility of course will be verified later on okay so you know if you are eligible like branches i told you age limit i told you then you can apply okay but whether uh, you are eligible or not that will be checked later on if you just register you will be called for the online test okay now what is the nature of the online test okay it's purely objective type okay and look into structure the test of professional knowledge okay that is double e or ec whatever your syllabus is so syllabus you can relate with the mostly the gate syllabus okay number of questions 50 50 technical questions so this is like your technical area so there will be 50 technical questions total marks 110 for that and then there are some non tech areas okay 40 questions for reasoning uh, reasoning as i've already told you become becoming very dominant in most of the examinations 20 for quant okay and then 20 for marathi language as well Okay, so these are total eighty questions of non-tech, total one thirty questions for one fifty marks. There is negative marking, and there will be a normalization also, which I will tell you. So there will be a penalty, okay, for wrong answers, okay, and that is one fourth. Okay, they haven't told what is the marking scheme, okay, but you can clearly say one thirty questions, one fifty marks. Okay, now here eighty questions for forty marks. Okay, that means how much? Okay, point five. Okay, point five. Fifty questions for one ten marks. So somewhere around. Okay, two point two marks. Okay, so some some you know arbitrary marking scheme is coming here, but that's okay. Okay, whatever it is. Okay, now uh, there is a penalty uh, that is one fourth of the marks assigned to that question. One fourth of the marks assigned to that question. I'm sorry, है ना? Not one by four. One by four of the marks assigned to that particular question. Okay, so if already a question is of half mark, okay, one fourth of it will become one eighth. 
Okay, one eighth. Okay, so some you know unusual marking scheme is coming, but that's all okay. Okay, now let's come uh, to the important point again. Yeah, in any of the section, be it reasoning, be it professional test, brother, be it technical, be it reasoning, be it quant, or even be it Marathi, you should not have scored zero or less. Matlab, you have to compulsorily attempt each, each section, and the cutoff is just zero. Matlab, you should have done something in every particular session. Okay, you should not have zero or less than zero marks in any of them. Okay, now uh, based on the performance in online test, the select list, merit list will be prepared. Achha, uh, one more thing, out of, you know, the test is out of 150 marks, but later on the out of 150 marks will be converted to out of 100, just like what you do in the percentages. And, okay, it will be drawn out of 100 marks, so there will be a normalization. And now minimum qualifying marks should be 30. Okay, 30 out of the 100. Yeh minimum hai. Okay, right. Yeh minimum required hai. Okay, so... Now, let's come to some important point. These are the centers in Maharashtra. There are 16 centers where the test is going to be conducted. Okay, so you can have a look into it. Okay. Now, next important point for you will be, yeah, the fees. Okay, so 700 for open category, 350 for, uh, you know, caste category, EWS and orphans. Okay, and now some uh, rest important points. Application form to upload fill up kari loge. I only advise you to take the timely decision. Okay. If you are sure, why to wait till 24th of October also? And you can do it up as quickly as possible. Just. Yeah, so that's what. Next important final update for you is the tentative date of the online examination. That is December 2023. Okay, so it's like you are standing in October. It's just beginning of October. Okay, so at least two, two and a half months. So December may they have not given any date. But worst case, two months you have. Okay, or you can expect two and a half months also. So that means a decent time to revise up. So if you are prepared and the paper is going to be mostly of simpler level. So if you have just prepared for GATE or ESE sometime, just quickly start brushing up your concepts. Okay, and... And do not forget to take the, uh, you know, benefit out of this opportunity, all Maharashtran candidates, because 400 is a good number of vacancies and without gate, but ultimately technical nature is there. With gate, you have prepared technical, reasoning and quant, all these things, okay? And some basics of Marathi language is there, okay? So guys, if you want more such updates, stay subscribed to our channel and all the very best for this exam and of course, all the other exams that you are preparing for. Thank you.